Hi, this is Joel Goodwin of Electron Dance, taking a little bit of time out to show you Boson X in the flesh. This is a relatively new game by Moon Heo, and I've talked about it a little bit before. I'm going to write a little bit more about it this week. And they call it a rotational runner, I call it a tunnel racer, either way it's a fast action game. Now, uh, there are six levels in total, that's not a great deal, but uh, they, most of them are, are locked until you've uh, made some success with the first few. So, uh, you start off with this first level called Geon, and we'll use it to explain how the game actually works. So, you just go left, right, and forward, and you have to pick up enough uh, this blue stuff here to get to 100%. And when you reach 100%, the level is marked complete. But as you pick up more and more from this blue stuff, let's call it energy, okay? So as you pick up more and more energy, your speed goes up. And that's where it all gets a little tricky. Now, there's this interesting moment around about 100% I'm about to reach, where it suddenly goes whoosh, and that's the moment which can kill you. It's amazing how many times I die precisely on 100. Here goes. Oh, I'm confused. Oh, don't. Oh, I'm doomed. There you go, 100%. It's, oh, it's going to kill you half the time, honestly, that 100% mark. Now, as you can see, my score there is just 107%, and I have actually made it up to 306%. That's really poor, as you can see, and the leaderboard's down there. It's actually positioned 226. So if you want to do really well, um, you're going to have to have insane reactions, because we're talking about uh, we need to get up to something like 600% to start featuring on the Geon leaderboard, for real. The second level is Acceleron, and in this it's more or less the same, but there's these red panels which when you step on, they start to fall away so you can't stay on them for too long. Now, something you have to start looking for are patterns that you're going to recognize and be able to react to. And here's one, I can see that you've got this uh, these pieces coming in and they're going to start blocking you. So you have to remember, okay, i got to switch to the left or right. Now, it's not too bad at the moment when it's fairly slow paced, but once it gets faster and faster, you've got to be able to just go for it. Now, these aren't the only patterns you see. Here's another one. You see it start curving off to the right? I know that means we're going to get a nice, big, long beam coming up. Here comes this long red beam. Do a big jump, as long as you can, then off to the left. So you can pick up this blue one. It usually You can usually catch this either you know, slipping off to the left or slipping off to the right. I have just once seen it appear come straight in front of me without having to divert left or right at all. It's actually amazing how uh, vulnerable you feel when there isn't uh, many panels for you to step on, when the tunnel is replaced by lots of empty space. And in fact, I think I'm about to reach 100% on this section, and this is going to kill me. Boom. It's that worry that uh, I'm going to reach the end and suddenly have this massive jump. Uh, where the speed just where the, the screen kind of like stretches and you're thrown forward like a catapult and At that point, it's really easy to die And so you get very nervous when you start approaching hundred percent and there It's actually the nervousness that killed me because I started to think what should I do? Where should I go and it breaks your your, your concentration your rhythm? I actually don't know what I think about that uh, particular mechanic I mean, it's very interesting that it puts that tension around about 100%. But it feels a bit unfair sometimes because it, it's, it's I find it very difficult to calibrate myself. Uh, I try to avoid picking up any more energy if I'm in a space which feels quite dangerous, if I can avoid it. Um, because if you get pick up that 100% when you've got a large gap in front of you, uh, it's very difficult to, to survive, I find. I'm almost always going to fall into the, the big chasm and unable to respond properly. So on to Radion, which introduces um, basically great big uh, electrical sparks, which 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 turn as you move through them. Now they're not too problematic in this level. It's later on there'll be an issue. However, um, one of the I, I always find I die very quickly in this level. I, I find it very difficult to survive for very long, and a lot of it's to do with the fact that there are a lot of these uh, uh, fast twists. And when you have to move quickly through the switch, it's all right to begin with, but when you get faster and faster, I find it very difficult to move left or right fast enough. You can see how quickly I've got to go around to the left here, and I just can't hit the key fast enough, or I'll overshoot. That's the other thing that happens. Sometimes I try to go fast and I'll overshoot. There goes the electrical, electrical surges. There are also some sections on this level where you have to remember where to jump properly, and to be honest, I, I've never really done very well on it. So uh, I've never scored very well. Look at that, 180% is my highest score here. 
So we move on to Graviton, which when I first played it made me think, right, I cannot, I'm not going to do this. Because there's just too much in it, which is, it just seems crazy. It's, it's faster, it starts fast to begin with. And then you've got all this stuff like, oh, I'm going to hit a brick wall and now move quickly. And the way to, to actually do these is basically wait as long as you can to the last moment and then go. The wall is your cue. You don't actually have to look at it. You can concentrate on what you are going to do next. But that the wall right in your face is your signal to do the jump. And then lots of these little tiny ways of like in, in enhancing your play like that. That's what happens to you when you play this again and again and again. And all, all the games, fast-paced action games like this, uh, require this sort of you know figuring out what's the correct cue to do something. Another thing that turns up on, on this level are these flashing flashing sections. And basically they're panels which are rushing towards you very fast, which completely upsets things. Uh, if you thought it was hard enough uh, trying to just, you know, keep, keep control of your own speed, then you've got these sections really throwing you off. Anyway, Graviton took quite a few times for me to get anywhere with it. And then I finally got access to the Y boson, which is probably the hardest level of all, simply because of the color scheme. I mean, look at it. You've got to go on those little little red sections there. Uh, the, the, they're actually the red sections as before, which fall away if you land on them. But they flash and look like the background, and it's such a horrible design decision. Well, deliberate design decision, to be honest. Um, it's it's not just that though. There there are two other things with this level. Um, first of all, it feels dangerous most of the time. Apart from these nice tunnel sections, I love it. When you see this, you know you're fairly safe. You've got to do a bit of jumping, but you'd know you know things are pretty sorted out for a few seconds. Um, but the other thing you hit are just tiny sections, and when this speeds up, it's really difficult to try and land on all these little tiny sections scattered about there. Now, um, I'm doing better than I normally do in this. This is the worst level ever for me. Uh, but mainly because uh, running this game with Fraps has slowed it down a little bit, just slightly enough uh, for me to do, do better at it. So what you're going to see is me complete it for only the second time. I just hate this level so much. Uh, I think it's the lowest scoring on the leaderboards, showing how hard or possibly how unfair it is. It depends on your point of view. I think it's unfair myself. Uh, but it's lovely when the colour changes. You think you should be able to do better, but of course it's going much faster. It's it's a nice moment when it goes to 100%, but god damn it's hard to get there. Uh, but that's another thing about the game. I do love the, the kind of music and the, and the, and the change uh, as you go through 100%. It really makes you feel like you've achieved something. Now this brings us on to x -Boson which is the fastest of all the levels. I mean, literally, when you see all these things flying into the center screen, it's just mad. Here's another one of the patterns. You see uh, the, the, the set of three red panels there and some rings. Well, it's really difficult to know what's, what to do in that section. And very soon, you do work out that you have to concentrate on the red panels. That's how you get through this. Forget about the rings, red panels. It's a very simple jump. Just get yourself to position and you'll be fine. Now it's going so fast that sometimes it feels like you haven't got enough time to react. And for example, here when the wall comes up, what's going to happen after this wall? It, unbelievably, I find myself starting to look beyond uh, trying to see what's going on behind this. Even that, that small gap there, I could see that there's a, there's, a, there's a red panel out there. And that's where I possibly should be aiming to jump when I come out. Not straight forward, but I'll need to go jump left. And you really start focusing on some of the finer details like that. There are a lot of patterns on this level which are worth learning because it's not particularly generous. Uh, although you come against uh, a blue panel every now and then, um, you're going so fast you're gonna, not going to pick up much from it. And uh, you find yourself traveling a long way on this level. Um, it, it seems like it takes forever to get anywhere. The next pattern coming up here is two flashing panels with a blue bit in between. Actually, you get two sets of blue bits. This is another one worth, worth, worth learning. And you really want to try and maximize how much you get out of these blue energy panels. Now, electrical sparks here kill me so much in this level. I find it very difficult to avoid getting killed three sections. It's almost random. So I don't know if there's any pattern to that, but I've never any good at finding it. Ah, here's our best pattern of all. The blue ribs at the top, 
you pick up so much energy from from this set of, of three panels, basically. And it's wonderful. I just jumped up about twenty percent. A couple of those on your golden. But the worst thing, of course, is that as you pick up more energy, you get faster and faster, and it screws with your muscle memory. You think you've got all the jumps timed perfectly when you're traveling for a long time at one particular speed, and then suddenly you've jumped up 30%, and now everything's really, really fast, and very quickly you're like out of your depth and doomed. So, um, it's the, the very interesting aspect of this game is the speed up, the fact that you're constantly recalibrating to the new speed. And that last level there is, is quite mean because it doesn't give you speed pickups very often. And then you'll pick up suddenly a very big speed pickup, which is just great. You've been waiting for this such a long time and it's almost, it's, it's quite possibly certain death because you just can't cope with that big pickup in speed. It's difficult to say whether it's a, a fair game or not. I know a lot of people have been having problems with it. Um, and it takes some doing to get better at it. Some bits certainly feel like the randomness is going to kill you. Uh, and other times you think, wow, I'm so amazing. Anyway, give this game a go if you feel up to it. If not, never mind, go play something else. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you very much.